Welcome to Rehash. Oh, the internet, we're all news. It's old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey there, what's going on guys? My name is Divine Darkness, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you so much to Divine Darkness for providing today's Rehash introduction. If you guys want to be cool like Divine Darkness, make sure to open the description down below where you guys can submit your Rehash introduction. Yes. You had a newsy type, whatever. As a matter of fact, I do. Today I want to talk to you about The Onion, um, and a new thing that they're doing. Ooh. I want to talk to the Freedom Family about how a CEO of an online food delivery company shared $27 million with his staff. Wow. And I wanted to talk about an Iowa man who is running for president and he's got a really strange name. Right. We have one bonus story which we will not be talking about just because we've done a lot of Donald Trump news as of late. But he's uh, saying some pretty crazy things. Uh, link down there if you want to check that story out. Uh, also, uh, YouTube is up to, what was it, 400 hours, hours of video every minute. I think that one will also be down there. The Onion, better known by some as The Onion News Network, a parody of news all around the, the globe, uh, is ha they have this new project called Edge, which is a parody of Vice. Um, and the trailer should be linked down there uh, if you want to check that out. It is everything you would imagine from The Onion. It's over the top, it's hilarious, and it's right on point. Um, my question to the Freedom Family is, what would you like to see him um, parroting next? Yeah. So a lot of the news stories that we cover on this show, you would almost expect them to be from The Onion, but they're not. Um, so I, I, when I saw this, I figured, you know what, let's do a story about The Onion, because... Yeah. You know, we do, you know, unbelievable, you know, stories or, or weird stuff. And, you know, let's go ahead and let's uh, give them a bone. Yeah, I agree. And then you had a new type whatever? Yeah, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about how a CEO shared $27 million with his staff after selling his online delivery company. How did that work? The CEO and co-founder of a Turkish food delivery company has paid out $27 million to 114 employees after selling his firm. Unfortunately, they're from Russia, so I cannot pronounce his name. He said he told the Turkish newspaper, Hurrit, that his employees deserve to benefit from the sale. If there is success, we have accomplished it altogether, he quoted as saying. Nonetheless, I felt like covering it, because it just goes to show that there are good CEOs, there are good people in the world that aren't really greedy. They actually want to share for all the people that help them succeed. Yeah, stories like this really kind of make my you know, make my heart leave. I don't know how many employees it was. Do you happen to know? Yes, yeah, 114. 114 employees. That's still a pretty sizable chunk of change and a nice thank you for helping build that company. Yeah. All right. You did step whatever? I did have a newsy tap whatever. So do keep in mind I'm saying this because this is the man's legal name. A new presidential candidate for the U.S. presidency in 2016 has been added to the roster. Now, normally speaking, there are usually anywhere between a couple dozen and sometimes a few hundred people running for president in any one election year, yeah. most of which don't really have, you know, a shot. They don't get a lot of publicity, so they just don't get the votes that they would need. But this man, his name is Dee's Nuts. That's his actual legal name. That is his actual legal name, D-E-E-Z-N-U-T-S. Dee's Nuts is running for president. So I can only imagine how people are going to respond when people say, how are you voting in 2016? These nuts? Yeah. Um, that pretty much wraps up all of our stories, other than the ones that we're not talking about. Links in the description about YouTube and Donald Trump. Yeah. And I guess that pretty much wraps everything up, so we what should go ahead and talk about the comment. Hey. Yeah. Comment number one comes from Unison Games. Dash free games right. cool. says I had to update my vanilla Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 just to reserve a copy. Seems a little counterproductive when people on Windows 7 can do it without any hassle. I believe that's because the build for the upgrade goes from Windows 8 to Win or sorry Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Right. Not you know it, it just makes a lot more sense. Seeing as for security reasons, you should have upgraded a long time ago. Um, and you had a comment. Yeah, so comment number two comes from Extol Ace of Games. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. He says, Google Plus actually helped my channel grow. Now, I, I, I like Google Plus. I, I like surfing through it and just seeing, you know, who I follow, what they post, etc. But I never really utilized it for my YouTube channel. I was never really a big fan of it. You know, I, I used it a lot on my gaming channel. Now, this was the, back in the earlier days of Google Plus before everybody started spamming things on there. Uh, and I found it very useful in some things, uh, mainly when it came time for me to try to use uh, search engine optimization or penetrate search. It just became a lot easier to do so. 
Um, but that's that's just me. Yeah. Um, and then I guess uh, I guess we have another comment. Comment number three comes from XX Code Boss Gaming. Says, "Why so late upload? Yesterday was a very special, strange day where um, I hadn't really slept more than an hour or two in the last two or three days before that, and I crashed. And um, and then yeah, we had some issues where the internet was out, and so I woke up a little bit late. And then Zach was hey, just a big old mess. Yeah." Um, but we'll try to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Sorry about that. And then I guess it pretty much wraps up the comments. Yeah, then we get to dive into the... The partner. And go. Thank you so much to Divine Darkness for providing today's rehash introduction. As per usual, we'll talk about you towards the end of today's video. So, Divine Darkness. The guy has over 130 video uploads, his logo and his banner match, which is something that we're all very keen on seeing. Anthony's a huge advocate for making sure they match, and it's understandable. You know, a lot of people tend to do vloggish type backgrounds in their gaming. It makes no sense. Uh, nonetheless, the only concern I have with regards to this guy's channel is the thumbnails. They're not even there. He has one thumbnail, but it's just a template with text that it's, it's almost kind of difficult to see. Uh, and then for the most part, if I could suggest anything, just work on the thumbnails. I noticed you have over 130 videos, and you only have 127 subscribers. Doing something as simple as creating thumbnails could be a huge boost in subscribers and view counts. So. Also, keep this in mind. Um, as far as the um, the banner art, when you do sit down and do your uh, your you know you plan out a thumbnail idea, make sure it matches that. Um, because you know I'm, I'm noticing like uh, your review for Eight Bit Boy, um, it does use you know the the text in it does use some of the same color elements from your banner, but the rest of it not so much. Um, and a lot of your other thumbnails that I can tell that you purposefully did, a lot of them look exactly the same, like um, Planet Falcor. Planet Falcor uses the same thumbnail for every single video. So it, keeping, keeping in mind, if I see you know, your video in my subscription feed this week and I watch it, and I see it again you know, two or three days or next week, it looks like the same thumbnail, I think, okay, I've already seen that video, I'm going to skip by. So don't do that. Um, in general, it's just a bad practice. Um, other than that, I think you've got a fairly solid channel. It would, it would help me to see you invest a little bit more time into text, um, in your, you know, your descriptions and your tags. Um, because when you have more videos than subscribers, usually that means that something is off somewhere. There's some thing that you're not taking full advantage of. Either that or you're putting out videos a little bit faster than you should be at this time. Um, you know, you should give people a little bit of time to really soak in your content, especially when you're, you know, you're smaller. And it seems like right now you're just generating content a little bit too fast for your subscribers to catch back up. I agree. Um, yeah, anything else? Man, that's all that we can add to the channel. Um, now, that being said, I do like your commentary style. I do like your on-screen persona. Um, there are actually a lot of likes here, but you know, when giving constructive criticism, I do try to you know only focus on the things that need to be changed. Um, so yeah, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, freedom family.